Hello everybody, Devin here again, and uh, today I have another vest video for you, and uh, this one is on a French flak vest. Now this is going to be a much like the German one from yesterday, and the fact that they're pretty much the same shape, um, except this one only uh, uses four plates. So uh, it has the two collar plates up there, and then it has one big front one and one big uh, back one. Uh, now this plate carrier is also a little different in the fact that it is actually a plate carrier. Uh, it has this big zippered pocket right here uh, for the addition of armor plates, unlike the German one, because I'm guessing this one came out a lot later. It also has uh, Velcro, uh, the, the French style of Velcro, I'll focus in on it for you here. Uh, as you can see, which is a bunch of little, little loops in like a pattern, unlike the US one where it's just kind of random. This tends to uh, hold up a lot better with use than the American style does. So um, another uh, couple good features about this vest is uh, it has a storage pouch in the front, just like the German one. Uh, it has this little thing right here, which is where your blood type would go. You'd have like a little card, like a laminated card you would slide in there that would have your uh, your blood type on it as well as like your allergy information uh, would be in here. And uh, then oftentimes it would be sewn over the top so it wouldn't uh, slide out uh, by mistake. Um, now this vest uh, is substantially thicker and heavier than the... Uh, German one. Uh, it has a system of attachment that I really don't like and that's the buddy clip system which means it has these buckles which are on the back and you can't undo them easily yourself. There's also no quick way to get out of this vest like if you were to get injured uh, which is a big problem because uh, you can't operate on somebody or treat their wounds with their, their body armor on. So having these buddy clip systems means somebody else has to roll you over while you're shot or, you know, dismembered or whatever happened to you and undo each of these clips individually. There isn't a quick release on it, uh, which is a problem that a lot of people saw in the future. So this wouldn't be as good as the German one uh, or the American one in the sense that it doesn't have a quick, easy way to get out of. Um, the collar plates are held in place with a, a, a big zipper. I'm sorry, this is a three-plated vest. It only has, it only has one big uh, plate in it, um, and the little separation is right over here on this side as you can see it's closed with this velcro closure but the zipper goes all the way around the collar to the back and holds one big kind of uh, c-shaped collar plate now there's the tag in it I'll focus in on it for you here uh, 1998 as you can see it's a size 96 a 105 um, I'll set it down here now and take a look at the tag on the inside if I can get the light to work in my favor here, we'll try it through the top. Uh, come on now. Lights work with me here. All right. Uh, we'll focus in on it here. Yeah, can you read that? All right. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So, but uh, this is, tells you who manufactured it. And, of course, it's all in French because it's a French plate carrier. Uh, behind it is a Velcro spot for where the manual would go. Uh, I don't actually have the manual for this one, but you can see this little kind of square there is where the uh, manual would slide in, much like a PASGAT. So, um, refocus the camera here. Um, this vest is uh, extremely thick and heavy, as you can see, compared to the uh, German one. It's almost twice as thick. It's not as flexible. As you can see, it's pretty pretty rigid. If I just hold it here, it stays, stays standing, uh, which offered a lot more... Um, protection. It's in the uh, French Central uh, European camouflage pattern. Um, it was an overall actually pretty good vest and they used it up until like the 2000s. Uh, I believe there's different versions of these red, uh, uh, not, well this one's red, but it has different uh, piping on it right here to denote your like branch or a subsection in the military. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on that. That's just something I read somewhere. Um, so if you guys know about that, I'd very much like to know. Um, but this is kind of the same thing as the Germans. Like if I focus back in again, uh, instead of going for the U.S. approach like the nylon, they just made these vests out of the same material that their uniforms were made out of at the time. And um, it's a very, very soft, comfortable material. It actually absorbs sweat really well. It's pretty comfortable. It doesn't breathe 
really nice, uh, but it does breathe better than nylon does. Uh, like the US ones, they tend to like hold all the moisture and heat close to your body. At least this lets some moisture through into it, uh, but it does allow, but it does make the covers uh, not as strong as nylon, and they're a lot uh, weaker uh, as well. Now there is a there is an improved version of this vest that does have like uh, big uh, arm plates on it and a higher uh, collar to protect your throat and everything. It has like a big groin protector and it has like a built-in webbing system on it too for attaching pouches and everything. Uh, still in the same pattern and everything like that. Uh, it holds plates front and back, whereas this one only holds plates in the front. Um, so uh, that would be uh, that's something I'm looking into getting here. Um, but these you can't really find. They're a lot harder to find outside of France. Uh, because of international trade and regulation laws. So uh, ITAR laws kind of prohibit a lot of these from coming into the state. So I'm really, really glad I got one because I found a guy in France who was willing to risk it if I paid him extra to ship one to me. And it got through French Post without getting caught. So um, yeah, so I was really, really excited to get one of these uh, with the original plates and everything in it. And uh, this is going to be another short video here because uh, I don't have a ton of information on this. I don't know what year it entered service. Uh, I don't know exactly what it replaced. Um, I know what it was replaced by, and I just explained that to you, the upgraded version of the, uh, this vest. Uh, but I don't, I don't know a lot about its service life or where it went or who particularly got one of these. Uh, so if you know any information about these or can find any information about these, uh, please leave a comment. I'd very much appreciate the additional information to help anyone looking. Um, uh, so I will uh, leave this video here. Hopefully you guys like this sort of stuff and you're... Uh, into this sort of thing, please like and subscribe. Uh, also, leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, and I will do my best to answer those for you. Uh, but until that time, I will see you guys in the next video, and hopefully you see me as well. Bye.